Ryan, what do we have? Uh, hi, Greg. We have got an iMac DV. It's one of the new range of iMacs announced by Apple Computer late last year. And not only was this thing an iMac, which is the world's best-selling computer, it also allows you to edit your home movies in almost or near broadcast quality. Brilliant. Now, what do you need to be able to, A, what kind of camera to be able to get your movie down there? And B, it comes obviously with the entire software that, that you need to do this. That's, Cables, etc.? That's correct. Every piece of software, every cable you require to, to use a digital video camera is included. Okay. You ideally should have a digital video camera, such as the Sony DV cam that I've got here. They do a number of different models from a number of, number of different vendors. Or you can use our existing analog camera with a media converter that will convert from digital video to analog video, which is what most of us are used to. Okay, great. So, I've got a VHS or a DV cam, and I've shot some film, I now want to edit it. 30 minutes worth of film, and I want three minutes worth out of it. Take me through the process. Okay, the first process, obviously, is to shoot some footage. I happen to have some footage that was taken of my kids yesterday. I think it was some son yesterday. <laughs> you simply plug into the camera, put the camera in playback mode, click on the uh, capture button, you automatically recognize that the camera is connected. We have now taken complete control of the digital video camera right here. We can simply hit the import button now, it'll spin up the camera, and we will get some of this footage that I took yesterday. That's reading it in. We can then stop that, and that's our first clip, or our first cut. If we now want additional cuts, because we actually want to be able to edit this, put transitions in, put titles, all sorts of stuff like that to make it look good, we'll go on to the next piece. So in real life, you, you'll have your, your bit of footage that you've shot of your holiday in the Bahamas, and you go, I want the first one minute, the next three minutes, you'll just spool through capture the next bit and drop that down. That's correct. Now this is obviously the rough edit. You can do final, final editing once you're on the iMac. You can cut out what you want. You can crop it to exactly the piece you want. What we can now do is we can now um, stop the camera. We don't need that anymore. Automatically recognizes that the camera has been disconnected. And we can drag our clips in to a timeline. And this is a visual timeline we've got a more traditional timeline over here where we can actually see everything including the number of seconds that we've got of video let's go back to this one because it's the easy one to use we can then open up our palette of tools let's say we want some transitions the first thing we want is we want to fade into the first uh, piece of the first clip of video because it doesn't look nice just to start it right there so what we do is we scroll down here to a fade in we pick up the fade in and we simply drag it there and it's now automatically, as we look here, you'll see a red bar moving along over there, um, fading into the first clip of video. Brilliant. So, there you have it. You can do your home movies, you can download them onto the web, you can send them through emails, you can download it back onto DV Cam or even VHS or NTSC if you happen to have friends in America. It's astounding, it's going to change the way you make your home movies and it's going to make them look brilliant. That's it for this week. Remember, more information.